back to the afternoon news on AM 800. I'm Kathy McMahon. Construction on the Windsor Essex Parkway is in full swing, making some of the areas of the city almost unrecognizable. There's one man at the center of the action, preventing and in, uh, protecting endangered and threatened species, keeping them out of harm's way. Steve Marks is a species at risk reptile specialist. I spoke with him earlier today about his job, creatures he's encountered, and why it's important to save the snakes. The animals that are endangered, um, that are impacted by the highway construction, um, are the eastern fox snake, the butler's garter snake, and the barn swallow, um, which is a bird. And then there's several species of plants and trees as well. So you basically just like walk around the grounds or anybody that's working on the parkway, if they see one of these species, they call you right away and you go over there and you have to try to catch it. Is that right? It's essentially, yeah. Um, we've got a full-blown uh, ecological study on the two species of snakes that occur on the site. Um, and I also train um, everybody that goes onto the site uh, in any capacity has to have species of risk training, which gives them an awareness that there are endangered species in the area and, and which ones are the ones that are in trouble. So if they see anything when they're on site, there's a hotline phone number set up so they can call and a biologist will respond and hopefully get the animal or plant off the construction site. So you talk about, like, garter snakes, and I'm curious why they're in danger, because they seem to be all over the place. Yeah, they do. Um, we actually have four different types of garter snakes in Ontario, um, and one of them is an endangered species, and it just happens that all of the populations um, in Canada of the butler's garter snake, uh, that's the one that's in trouble, um, they all happen to be in Essex County. Oh, Okay. So they're not really in danger. They, they seem to be sort of of an abundance here, but the rest of the country, they're not. Um, they're a locally abundant species. Um, they recently got escalated from a threatened species to an endangered species just because we researched the populations of butler's garter snakes that existed, and it got found out that they're only in about 14 little populations. Um, they're in big trouble. Um, it's uh, a specialist of tall grass prairie ecosystem. So they're not like the typical common garter snakes that you see in your backyard. Okay. And so um, obviously if they like that tall grass, you have to move them from one place to another place that has that uh, grass surrounding it? If we remove the snakes from uh, the construction site, for example, they're placed in adjacent suitable habitat. So yes, there's uh, a lot of tall grass or, or um, suitable habitat areas um, that we release the snakes into. How many snakes are you catching a day? Um, that depends on all kinds of things. Uh, the parameters would be, you know, the weather, um, the time of year, the time of day, uh, et cetera, and so on. But, uh, I mean, my team can see, you know, hundreds of snakes in a day or very, very few. Um, there's been days when we've only caught two or three. And so they obviously have been trained to know which specific ones they're looking out for. And the, uh, you don't have to take all of them out of waste of the construction trucks. No, we've got um, we've got a full blown study on the two species of snakes. So we're um, we're monitoring the population on the whole, as well as the populations that are directly impacted by the construction. So, um, you know, we'll be uh, monitoring snakes that are you know as far away as maybe a, even two kilometers off site because those animals range um, touches up against the construction site. Okay, have you had any sort of uh, rare finds? Well, they're all endangered species, so they're all rare. Um, it's, uh, we've never found anything um, uh, terribly out of place. Um, there's, uh, there's the two, two species of, butler's gar of, uh, of, of endangered snakes, the butler's garter snake and the eastern fox snake. And then there's the three more common species of snakes, brown snakes, red belly snakes, and the eastern garter snakes. And they're all found uh, in good numbers throughout the Windsor area. Anything venomous or uh, dangerous at all? No, there's no snakes that are venomous or dangerous in Windsor. Um, there used to be a population of Massasauga rattlesnakes, yeah. um, and that's a, a pretty harmless little species of pygmy rattlesnake. Um, there is still a remnant population to the south in the town of LaSalle, um, and uh, that population is is not doing well at all. There's fewer than 15 animals thought to exist in that population. Have you ever been bitten? Or I guess if they're not really dangerous, it wouldn't matter if you are bitten. 
No, actually, the biggest snake in our study is the eastern fox snake, which does get, uh, you know, a good size, over five feet, or oh. approaching approaching two meters in length. And still, that snake does not have the ability to hurt a human being. So you can actually, um, with proper training, you could actually give a, a three or four year old little child a fox snake to hold on to, and it would be a completely harmless situation. It would look. Uh pretty crazy i guess though from people that maybe aren't as fond of, of snakes to have a five foot long snake in front of you i think i would scream and run the other way <laughs> well believe it or not i like to tell the workers when i'm doing the training uh you're an idiot if you don't want fox snakes on your property and the way i uh, uh make that statement make sense is by explaining why fox snakes would be on your property in the first place they actually prey upon species which can make us very sick um, the number one species of prey in fox snakes in Windsor is the deer mouse. And the deer mice carry three different diseases, two of which can kill us. And the third is Lyme disease. So really and truly, anything that eats deer mice is a good friend of ours. And um, that's what fox snakes do best. So they're, uh, they're definitely something you want around on your property rather than, um, you know, something that you should fear. There's nothing to fear from a fox snake whatsoever, and yet they're doing us all these favors. Okay. So how long will you be uh, working for the parkway and on site? Um, I don't know what uh, what kind of timeline I'm talking about, but uh, for myself that is. But um, there is a uh, an agreement to, um, with the Ministry of Natural Resources to monitor the species in the area for a few years after the construction is complete. So I'm hoping that my work uh, is is involved in that, that I'm involved in that study. Um, but uh, for the entire time that the parkway is under construction, I'll definitely be on board. Okay. Anything else you want to add about uh, about your job and anything that you found or that you'd uh, like people to know? Um, other than the fact that these snakes are completely harmless and uh, that um, I've, I've heard all kinds of concerns from local uh, residents um, that, you know, the, the, the snakes are... are um, uh, becoming more numerous or, th or things of that nature, there's uh, no increase in uh, population of any reptile in Ontario or, for that matter, Canada. Um, there's there definitely a, a group of species which um, make up the, the majority of the endangered species in Canada. Um, we really want to try to protect our species and our, our, and our wild spaces and, tr and try to make sure that the communities are left as intact as possible. And whether we like it or not, that does include animals like snakes. Again, that's Steve Marks, a species at risk specialist working with the Windsor Essex Parkway. His job is to remove endangered species and plants from the pathway of construction crews. It's 428 on the afternoon news. Sometimes.